Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Quarantine Kitchen and today for this episode I am going to be making oatmeal cookies. It's a really quick and easy recipe to make. I really like oatmeal cookies. I remember, when did I first discover this recipe? I first discovered this recipe when I was like still in elementary school. So it was a really easy snack to make. So I would make it for like an after school snack and stuff like that. And it does require a little more ingredients than other recipes, but it's really worth it. So shall we get started? Let's go. And as always, before we begin, make sure to wash your hands and tie your hair back. My hair is always in this bun. Anyways, once you've done that, let's go. The ingredients you'll need to make oatmeal cookies are brown sugar, vanilla extract, two eggs, whoa, no, oh my goodness, baking soda, unsalted butter, cinnamon, salt, sugar, oats, and flour. Before you begin making your cookie dough, what you're going to do is preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is take one cup of unsalted butter and you're going to cream it with your sugar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it, put it in a bowl, and I'm going to microwave it a little bit because my butter is still pretty hard. I'm going to microwave this. Now that I have melted my butter a little bit, I'm going to put it in a large bowl and I'm going to cream in my brown sugar and white sugar. So normally when you're creaming butter, hold on. Okay, so normally when the recipe says to cream your butter, it means you don't melt it and stuff, but I got lazy, so whoops. <laughs> So now what you're going to do is add in one cup of brown sugar and one cup of white sugar. One cup of white sugar. For the brown sugar, make sure you... Okay, background noise. Hello? Are you done? Ugh, that's so annoying. That is so annoying. Please, shush. Oh my goodness, it's so annoying. Okay. When you're measuring your brown sugar, make sure to pack it in. Like this. One cup of brown sugar. Oh my goodness. Okay, background noise. We get it. We get it. We get it. Oh my goodness. Please stop for one second. I just need to say one instruction, please. Okay, so once you have it all in a bowl, you're going to combine it together. You can speed this up. I am so mad. Can you please be quiet? Uh... Okay, this is what it should look like after you've mixed it together. Now that you've mixed your ingredients together, you're going to add in your two eggs. Ooh, I'm a chef, I'm a chef. Now that you have your two eggs in here, you're going to mix it together. This is what it should look like after you mix in your eggs. Now what you're going to do is add in one teaspoon of vanilla. Mix that together. Clean up your bowl. Or at least I'm going to because it looks really messy. Okay, hopefully the background noise isn't too bad right now. Anyways, 
Now what you're going to do is add in your dry ingredients. So that includes your flour, baking soda, salt, and cinnamon. But what I'm going to do first is to add in two cups of flour. One cup. Two cup. Okay, let's mix this in first. That looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Now we're going to add in one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, and one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. I'm just going to use my half teaspoon because I use my teaspoon for my vanilla. Half a teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon. Same thing for the salt, half a teaspoon, one teaspoon. And last, our cinnamon, half a teaspoon, one teaspoon, and another half. And once you have those in there, you're going to mix it all together. Also a reminder to scrape the bottom of your bowl too because there may be some unmixed ingredients in there, so make sure to properly mix all your ingredients. Same thing with the spoon or spatula or whatever you're using to mix all your ingredients together. Make sure you scrape it off every once in a while because there may be some ingredients that aren't combined very well at the very bottom. Okay, once you've combined all your ingredients together, it should look something like this. It looks pretty similar throughout the entire process really. Now you're going to add in your oats. Now we're going to add in three cups of rolled oats. This one you don't have to be too precise about the measurements because they're oats, but one cup, two cups. I'm gonna mix it together first because if you have three cups of oats just all together like that, like it's hard to mix. Mix it together. And though this is just a oatmeal cookie recipe, at this point you can also add in any other ingredients you want, like chocolate chips, any sort of nuts or whatever. So it's really your choice, but I'm going to probably just keep it as plain oatmeal cookies today. Oh, my arm's getting tired. So this is what it looks like after you've mixed in your oats. Now it has a little bit more of a crumbly-ish texture. Not really, but like compared to before we added in the oats. For the recipe I'm using, it says you can also just put this in the refrigerator and let the dough chill. So it'll be easier when you're actually making the little cookie balls. But I usually don't actually chill my dough, so I'm going to get my pans and we're going to transfer them and make our little cookies. Ding. Okay, so this is just one of the pans I have. So I have one pan and I also got two spoons, so it's easier to make the little dough balls, you know? So just scoop and then, and then, you know? So just get a spoonful of the dough. I like to like shape it a little bit more. Let's put it down. Da -da. Isn't it cute? The lighting's kind of bad so you can't see it. Let's show it actually. Ta-da! So cute! I'm going to do that for the entire pan and then for the second pan and yes. For these cookies, the spacing in the pans, when you place them on the pans, they don't have to be too far apart because they don't expand too much. So like, I don't know measurements, but like this far apart, <laughs> this far apart's fine. It doesn't have to be too far, but don't make it too close because it does expand a little bit. I'm going to fill my trays 
and get them in the oven. Okay, first pan finished. Let me get my next pan. Next pan. So both my pans are filled with, oh my goodness, <laughs> bloopers, yikes. Okay, both my pans are filled with the cookie dough and now we're going to put it in the oven. Okay, so I'm going to put my cookies in the oven. Okay, so we're going to leave those in there for about eight to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna put nine. You know why? Because middle ground. Or you could put eight. I usually put eight actually. You know what? I'll put eight. Good idea. So while our cookies are in the oven, I'm going to clean up my ingredients, but we're going to keep our cookie dough stuff out because once that's finished, we're going to put more cookie dough in the pans and you know the drill. Cookies, you know? So, Joan? Speed up, clean up. <laughs> One more thing, okay. Something I forgot to mention is when you put your cookies in the oven, you also wanna prep for when they come out. I have my two cooling racks and I'm going to set them up over there so I have more space when I need to add more cookie dough to my pans and I can just put the cookies, the finished ones, over there. I also have my little spatula thing so when the cookies are done I can go like... You know? <laughs> Perfect fit. Okay, my timer just went off so I'm going to take my cookies out of the oven. Okay, so this is how the cookies look after they come out of the oven. Ooh. It's a little harder to tell on camera, but the cookies have a golden brown edge to it, so that's how you know they're done. And if you want, you could also make your cookies a little flatter so it'll be crispier when they bake, but I like chewy cookies, so. Okay, so you don't want to waste too much time, you're going to take your cookies off the baking sheet because technically it's still baking if you leave it on the hot sheet. So take it off and put it on your cooling rack. Quickly, quickly. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, you're going to just repeat the same process over and over again until you have no more cookie dough. Just continue this process of scooping your cookie dough with your spoons and putting it on the pan. One thing to remember though is since your pans are hot from the oven, you don't want to take too long because then your cookies will start to melt a little bit because your pan is so hot. So just be mindful of that. Alright everyone, that's the end of the episode today. I hope you all enjoyed watching me make oatmeal cookies and I hope you follow this recipe as well. I hope you have a good day, night, or whenever you're watching this. And please remember to like down below, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Bye! Thanks for watching!